I woke up two days later in the hospital surrounded by family and a group of best friends. This moment will forever be the happiest moment in my life. I was alive, you hadn't killed me, and with my family by my side, I knew I would bounce back stronger than ever, strong enough to stand face to face with you again. Yeah. You were on that sidewalk that night because you stopped to help someone you didn't even know who was in trouble. There is no question you are a hero. Would you today stop to do the same thing? And I hope if I'm facing the same situation that, that I, I would act again to, to help out somebody in need. You, you want to make good out of this. You, you're starting a foundation called Strong City. You want to help young people who fall through the cracks. I lived in New Orleans for eight years without experiencing the violence kids here struggle with every day. It made me realize everyone has a responsibility to their community even the parts they don't see. We created Strong City to give communities the resources they need to come together and empower the next generation of leaders. And our work starts here. When Peter first approached me and told me that he wanted to turn his personal tragedy into something that would have a positive impact on the lives of the young people in the city. I was personally very moved. He can help raise funding, he can raise awareness, and he can contribute to the ongoing success of organizations like the Youth Empowerment Project.